Broadcasting from the basement of La Penta, it's WICR. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Sports Vault. Jersey Joe back in studio. And I think, look, we're kind of at that point in the NFL season where we really have a good feel for almost every single team now. And at the end of the day, after seeing a little bit of everyone, I just don't know if there's a team worse than the Detroit Lions. I mean, at this point of the season, I, they just look as disorganized and just as without a clue as anyone that I've seen in the and I don't think that I've seen a team that has been more disorganized and just doesn't have a clue just missing out on basic fundamental executions I mean I think it really all kind of came to a, a fruition yesterday obviously they played the London game where they got trounced by the Kansas City Chiefs I mean outside of an opening drive and a field goal the Lions had absolutely nothing and I think you just see points in that game where the Lions players just, they look lost and confused on the field. I mean, missing coverage is just bad execution all over the place. And I think the hardest thing to kind of wrap your head around is what happened from last year to this year. The Lions, obviously, with Jim Schwartz, were a complete mess. They had no discipline. They never lived up to what they should have been, and that's the reason he was fired. Then you look at what Jim Caldwell comes in year one, instantly changes the culture there. They become a much more disciplined unit. They become much more fundamentally sound. They are a very stout, reliable defense that shuts down the run. Offensively, it wasn't always the prettiest, but for the most part, they did not have trouble turning the football over, and when they had to execute, they did. This is a completely different team, and it's so hard to kind of wrap your head around. How do you deteriorate? so quickly. And aside from a couple of big losses, obviously in Dominican Sue, one of them, Nick Fairley, I don't think you could point to those two right there being the root cause of it. Defensively, I mean, Tara Lawson, for the most part, last season, incredible job. But this season, the what, what we've seen from this Lions team, you look at some of the plays late in that fourth quarter, for the, the Lions just gave up. There's no question about it. They did not fight. They gave up. They were just not playing anywhere near how they should have been playing and right now at this point I don't know who's good who to put point the finger at anymore than Jim Caldwell at the end of the day to suffer and be this bad based on what you showed last season going to the playoffs there's no excuse for it. it's inexcusable Jim Caldwell is in a lot of trouble and again I think you've got to also share the blame with the quarterback Matthew Stafford now Stafford to me kind of had to the last two season start to assert himself this is why the Detroit Lions selected me after they had the season they lost every single game this is why I'm their franchise quarterback I don't know if outside of the season coming off the lockout where Stafford was incredible took the Lions to the playoffs and then they did lose that game to the Saints but I think you look at Stafford, and I don't know if aside from that, you could point your finger at something and say, this is why he's the cornerstone franchise player for the Detroit Lions. I mean, even the numbers this year are just not that good. 13 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. Turnovers have been a major problem for the Detroit Lions. It's why a week ago they made some major changes to the coaching staff, firing offensive coordinator. Uh, I think at the end of the day, it's just so difficult because, again, you look around the National Football League, there's a lot of good teams that we've seen so far, and there are a lot of bad ones. But I don't think even that the bad ones, I mean, maybe the Jaguars come to mind, the Titans come to mind, but even the Titans, you know, Marcus Mariota has had his injuries. They've had some other things like that. I don't think anybody has the, the good pieces in place like the Lions do and have just failed so miserably. I mean, it's just a collective failure on the coaching staff, on the playing part of things. The Lions are a catastrophe. And I mean, I, I, I'm using very harsh words here, but again, I just, I've just i seen a lot of the Lions play this year, and it's just awful. Even their first win against the Chicago Bears, the game went into overtime. Both sides horrendous, but I mean, the Lions especially, their execution late is just bad, and it's really a reversal from everything they did last year. Jim Caldwell, I mean, just coming in year one with the Lions, flipped the script. I mean, almost every problem that they had has reemerged this season, and I just don't understand how does that all come back. 
what happened there? There's something at the root cause of this all. Is it on the coaching staff? Is it dissent in the locker room with the players? I mean, those are questions that are much, that are, are kind of difficult to answer. But at this point, I mean, you just got to read it and tell it the way you see it. The Detroit Lions are awful. They are the worst team in the National Football League right now. And they should not be because, again, there are a lot of teams. The Jaguars should not be a better football team than the Lions. The Lions have their quarterback in place. The Lions have good offensive playmakers. The Lions have good defensive playmakers, even with the guys that they've lost in the offseason. It is just one of those things that's really difficult to put your finger on. But at the same time, you just watch the games. Your eyes tell you everything you need to know, folks. You don't need to look at the numbers. You put on the football games, and you watch who can play and who can't play. You could just see very easily this Lions team is just, it's not, it's, they're just bad. And it's not just being bad, it's just not being prepared. You can just tell. You watch the defensive players out of position, not recognizing things. They are just a bad football team. They are not prepared. They are just not not in a position right now to do anything meaningful. And coming off a season where they did a lot of meaningful things, it's really unacceptable. And I think at the course that they're going right now, I mean, I made a joke. Uh, the reason I wore a Lions jersey when they won that game against the Bears is because I didn't know if they're going to win another football game this season. And that that's legitimately the truth because this is just a very bad football team. Like I said at the top of the show, I think they are the worst in the National Football League. Are they the worst, though? Let me know your opinions if they are the worst. I think clearly they are. Just watch the games. They're pretty bad. But for now, that is going to be it. We will be back momentarily.